Last thing before we go tonight is an intentionally wistful look back at gracious presidents and gracious first families. Our friend, the historian Michael Beschloss, has been posting images of the letters that our departing presidents have left for their successors. Ronald Reagan, to begin with, chose to write to Bush 41 on his don't let the turkeys get you down stationary. We checked that was not official White House letterhead. At any rate, he ends the note. You'll be in my prayers. God bless you and Barbara. I will miss our Thursday lunches. 41 writes to Bill Clinton. You will be our president when you read this note. I wish you well. I wish your family well. Your success is our country's success. I am rooting hard for you. 43 writes to Obama. You have just begun a fantastic chapter in your life. You will have an almighty God to comfort you, a family who loves you, and a country that is pulling for you, including me. God bless you. So that's what effortless class and graciousness look like and sound like. It also looks like this. The Bush women showing the Obama women around the White House where Sasha and Malia learned the trick that White House kids have learned for decades. That happens to be the hallway to the solarium. The ramp was carpeted for FDR's wheelchair. And on either side, the bare wood floor makes for a great slide, as the Bush girls taught the Obama girls, as the Biden grandkids will pass on to the next occupants, because that's how graciousness works. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.